Hello, my name is David Alvarez. I'm the owner of Loop Equipment Installers in the City of Industry, California. Today I will be demonstrating a fully portable portable fuel, fuel transfer, transfer system. system. Comes with a 100 gallon saddle tank previously used on a diesel tractor truck. A square steel tubing frame with six inch diameter polyurethane wheels. The rear wheels come with a 360 degree swivel caster and a true lock brake. The true lock brake, when engaged, when engaged, do not allow the wheel to go forward or backwards. Or the fuel backwards. transfer system is powered by a Graco Husky one inch diaphragm pump. It is capable of 30 gallons per minute. It works in conjunction with a four-way directional valve, which allows the flow of diesel fuel to either be transferred or evacuated from a truck. You'll notice that the manifold hoses are clear. This is called poly hose. While the pump is either transferring or evacuating, the flow, you're, you're able to visually see the flow of the fuel going in or out of the tank. The positions of the valve are basically three positions. Pull is suction, which is what you'll be evacuating out of a truck. Neutral, which stops the flow either way, transfer or transfer or suction, and then push, which is transfer, which, which, which takes the diesel fuel out of the tank into another truck or another holding tank somewhere in the yard or shop. While, while evacuating fuel out of a truck, as the tank fills, there's a fluid side gauge which uh, measures in increments of quarter, half, three quarter, and full. There's a little float that you can't see now, but as it fills, there's a little red float in there, you'll see it rise. And then when transferring out of the tank, out of the fuel car tank into another truck or a holding tank, obviously it will go down and it goes in increments from full, three quarter, and half, and quarter. There's also a little vent, uh, little vent device here so that the atmospheric pressure in the tank equalizes while it's either being filled or empty, depending on what operation you're doing at the time. You have the air supply regulator filter, which controls the air pressure. Next to it is a on and off shut off valve. Basically, it's just a ball valve, on and off. Clockwise is off, counterclockwise is on, and you can gradually increase pressure and increase the flow. Right here, we have a diesel priming spigot. Basically, what you do is you put the filter under this little nozzle here, and you lift the lever and you can control the flow slow or fast and it's spring loaded so that it, it, when you let go of it it automatically closes or you can have it stay open all the way fixed either way as far as the direction of the control valve is concerned at any time you can stop the flow of diesel fuel going in or out of the tank by simply putting the lever in the center position center position and it will stop the flow either way. The tank also comes with safety decals, hazmat code, danger, no smoking, and a diesel fuel only designation, which is very important. The decals are on both sides of the tank, highly visible. Lever position decal, which tells you the lever positions are three positions. There's a detent, detent valve, which the neutral is detent, close, closes flow both directions. In and out. When, on, when operating a portable fuel transfer system, there's two operations. There's basically evacuation, suction, which is sucking out of the truck, and then there's transfer, push, which is transferring out of the, the portable cart into a truck or, or, or holding tank in the shop. You're always, always going to have this valve in the neutral position. When you pull the suction, when you push, it's transfer. Center is stop, no flow at all. And whenever you're going to decide whether you're going to evacuate or transfer, your valve is always in a neutral position. You have your hoses here. It comes equipped with a 20 foot evac uh, transfer evacuation service hose. This hose can be used for both types of operations. It comes with a cam lock, quick disconnect coupler. Here you see, this is, this is the uh, adjustable pickup siphon transfer tube. 
It simply connects with a cam lock. You put it inside the tank, and it basically is a suction connection hose. Basically suction. It easily disconnects. Collapse two. This is for transferring. This is a Husky three quarter inch nozzle. It, all, it has an automatic shut off trigger with a 360 degree swivel. Same, it has the same type of hose connection. It's a quick disconnect cam lock. Connect it, you're ready to go. This is used for transferring out of the tank into trucks, holding tanks, whatever you need to do. It also has its own holster, just like so. Okay. Okay, now I'm about to do an actual real-time live demonstration of the pump actually working. Our first operation is going to be evacuation, pulling out of the truck and, tra and, and sucking into the actual cart. I won't do too much narration, it'll pretty much be self-explanatory. The first thing I'm going to do is, the first thing that's very, very important, and I'm going to concentrate on this all through this video is, at any time that the, the pump transfer system is not working, or when you're going to begin to do a, either an evacuation or transfer, this valve, this lever needs to be in a neutral position, which is a center position. Again, the lever positions are right here. They're pretty self-explanatory, with the uh, dots being uh, pulled to the front is suction. Center is neutral, which flows off in either direction. Transfer push, which is the valve. So we're starting out in the neutral position. I'm going to come over here, plug in my air. The, the regulator filter gauge is preset, I shouldn't say preset, we set it at 60 pounds of pressure, PSI. You can go up to 100 PSI, it's not recommended. 60 pounds we found is usually very sufficient for a flow of diesel fuel, it's light, and you're usually getting about anywhere from 50 to 20 gallons per minute on a at 60 on PSI. Set here. To control the pump on and off, you have this control valve here, you can also control the flow, uh, the amount of flow with this with this valve, air shutoff valve, and then you can control, control the, the flow completely with the directional valve. So I'm going to start up the air valve, and I gradually open it up. I don't want to slam the hoses or the hose or the. Uh, okay, the pump is now ready for evacuation. I'm going to unravel the hose, and then I'm going to be um, hooking up the the siphon tube. And the siphon tube is fairly easy. The siphon tube is adjustable. In and out. You connect it with the cam lock. Quick connect, disconnect. And we're going to put it into the tank. Once, once the, the tank on the truck is, is empty and your evacuation is finished, shut the air valve off. Then put the directional lever control valve in the neutral position which stops the flow either way. The siphon tube is ready to be pulled out. Pull it out, before you pull it completely out, collapse the, the adjustable tube, let it drip a little bit, the excess fluid, and we'll bring it back over here, attach it to the saddle, the saddle holster, and disconnect. Okay, the second operation is transferring from the fuel cart into another truck or a holding tank in the Again, shop. Again, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the directional valve lever is in the neutral position, which is center position. Okay, now I'm going to, do, I'm going to connect it to the nozzle, the uh, husky fuel nozzle, with a quick connect cam lock. And I'm ready to dispense fuel into another truck or holding tank in the shop. This nozzle does have a auto, auto shutoff trigger and a three weight, a 360 degree swivel. With the directional valve lever in a neutral position, you turn the pump on. The position for the valve lever is push, 
forward. And as you can see, I got flow and I'm still in the tank. The last feature of the portable fuel transfer system is a diesel fuel filter priming spigot. When you use a priming spigot, it's very important that not only is the air valve open and engaged, but the directional valve lever is in the transfer push position. Basically, you just put your filter under this nozzle right here, and you lift this little spigot lever, and you can control the flow. It's a spring-loaded lever, so you can control it, if you want it, if you need to actually fill, let's say, a, a one or two gallon can, you can actually leave, uh, the lever will stay open, just like that. And all you gotta do is flip it off and it automatically shuts off because of the fact that it is spring loaded. So, again, it's very, it's, the flow is controllable, or you can leave it all the way open. This has concluded the real time demonstration of Lube Equipment Installers Custom portable fuel transfer system. My name is David Alvarez. If you have any technical questions, please give me a call at 626-482-1001. Thank you.